ring happy bells by lucy larkham read for librivox.org by bruce kachuk ring happy bells of easter time the world is glad to hear your chime across wide fields of melting snow the winds of summer softly blow and birds and streams repeat the chime of easter time ring happy bells of easter time the world takes up your chant sublime the lord is risen the night of fear has passed away and heaven draws near we breathe the air of that blessed clime at easter time ring happy bells of easter time our happy hearts give back your chime the lord is risen we die no more he opens wide the heavenly door he meets us while to him we climb at easter time end of poem this recording is in the public domain with palm branches by lucy larkham read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. My soul hastens forth with hosannas to wave for the victor her palm. Every hope presses forward to meet him. Every thought rises up with a psalm. The stones of the roadside sing praises. Praise ripples the brook by the way. The dumb heart of nature rejoices even silence is vocal today he goeth to cruel betrayal the thorns and the spear thrust to meet he refuseth no drop of death's anguish the bitterness love shall make sweet we would taste thy cup with thee o master we would share in thy life through thy death for thy sacrifice makes us immortal and we live but in breathing thy breath ride onward o king of the lowly and trample our pride in thy path let us follow thee asking no honour save the blessing humility hath ride on and release us from evil ride on and redeem us from sin every gate of our being flies open Ride on to thy kingdom within. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Easter Even by Lucy Larkham. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Chill the dews of Easter Even twilight veils the saddened heaven mists of sorrow dim our eyes at the grave where jesus lies deep and still the garden's gloom hush he stirs within his tomb on the breathless lips the brow life through death is trembling now heaven to earth is whispering hark wings are rustling through the dark angels lay his shroud aside lo he lives again who died every leaf on every tree feels the unfolding mystery lo he lives he lives the word all the conscious air has stirred look the clouds of easter even flush with gleams from inmost heaven past the night of sacrifice day is breaking in his eyes give us part o friend divine in this death this life of thine save us from our selfishness make us strong thy world to bless by thy resurrection light lead us onward through the night in the dawn we dimly see give us joyful work for thee day star in our hearts arisen enter every spirit's prison 
O oh, make every soul a ray of thy new triumphant day. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Day of Joy by Lucy Larkham. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. This is the gladness of our Easter morning, that nothing now in all the world is dead. The roadside dust is tinted with forewarning of heavenly verdure mortal feet shall tread. New meanings each blue break of sky discloses, new messages on all the winds are heard, new fragrance haunts the lilies and the roses, his life, his breath, the spirit and the word the flowers of spring are no vain decoration of earth's dead bosom earth is all alive in the awakening dawn of new creation when soul and body perfect strength derive the untainted health the everlasting beauty even frozen hearts the warm contagion feel of spiritual love and holy duty the sickliest plant christ's living touch can heal this is the wonder of the resurrection that things unvalued now reveal their worth that every human longing and affection feels now the glow of its immortal birth our common toil the mutual hopes we cherish the friendly word the homely help we give each other in his love's name shall not perish no thought that lives in him shall cease to live we who are of the earth need not be earthy god made our nature like his own divine nothing but selfishness can be unworthy of his pure image meant through us to shine the death of deaths it is ourselves to smother in our own pleasures his dishonored gift and life eternal life to love each other our souls with christ in sacrifice to lift this is the beauty of our easter morning in him humanity may now arise out of the grave of self all baseness scorning the holy radiance of his glorious eyes illumines everywhere uplifted faces touches the earthly with a heavenly glow and in that blessed light all human graces unto divine beatitudes must grow feeding on husks no more the wanderers gather around the hearthstone of the house above the sun has brought them home unto the father his spirit in their hearts is peace and love souls speak in the lost language of communion and angels echo back the words they say earth is restored to heaven in deathless union this is the glory of our easter day end of poem this recording is in the public domain Sunrise by Lucy Larkham. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. The sunrise over the houses, the beautiful rose of dawn, reddening the eastern windows, the curtains of night withdrawn. More lovely than boughs in blossom, the spires on the roof trees glow. It is day, and in God awaking shall the spirit unfold and grow on the city in chrismal splendor the blessing of morning falls the bride coming down out of heaven the pearl gates the jasper walls the white light enters the casement like the wings of the holy dove and every house is a flower a blossom of peace and love the sunrise is fair on the gardens 
the groves and the forests afar but fairer the trees of manhood of the heavenly planting are and wide are the green savannas that under the dawn unroll but broader the landscape opens in the sunrise of a soul the footsteps of morning hasten across yonder populous space and the dwellings of men are illumined with the glory of god's own face who can guess the power of his coming he will banish doubt and despair the life of his spirit will kindle and stir in the sleepers there behold the day star ascending see the hour of his triumph begin the sunrise over the houses and the christ light shining in end of poem this recording is in the public domain after the resurrection by lucy larkham read for LibriVox.org by larry wilson it was the morning twilight gray the dawn but not the perfect day jesus once more on earth was seen mysterious beauty in his mien no earthly shelter held him now he came he went none questioned how he walked among the sons of men withdrawn at will from mortal ken he died he rose the son of god a spirit form this earth road trod to all the world beside unknown he showed himself unto his own he met them in their walks he came where they were gathered in his name he breathed on them and said i give to you this new life that i live the thought of him made waking sweet somewhere ere dewfall we may meet a hope shone through the rising ray beside us he may walk to-day and our illumined eyes will see through grateful tears that it is he though he but comes to disappear while we are whispering he is here tender and dear those twilight days a rainbow gleam through cloudy haze while dimly they began to see glory that should thereafter be he loved those chosen ones his own yet must they learn that not alone for their small group he lived and died but for a world of souls beside like children they were taught to spell his truth until they knew it well when they could read his words aright he vanished from their mortal sight vanished from sight they know him now him to whom every knee must bow the ray is blended with the sun behold him christ and god are one end of poem this recording is in the public domain the new song by lucy larkham read for librivox dot org by larry wilson O oh, sing thou happy heart thy world is all in bloom sing through the grateful tears that start at jesus opening tomb sing even in grief be glad breaks the new day within thy path in living green is clad thou leavest behind thy sin sing nor look backward down thy dark deserted past before thee gleams thy promised crown thou shalt reach home at last sing spirit from the height where love thy wing hath borne sing to the darkness of the light sing to the night of the morn o oh, sing thou ransomed one sing of thy sins forgiven sing to the slumberers of the sun sing to the lost of heaven in the poem this recording is in the public domain the lord is risen indeed by lucy larkham read for librivox dot org by larry wilson if in this world time there has been one who at death's door entered in and passing that dread mystery through came out again to human view his very self no dream no ghost 
of that for which we loved him most one whom with heart and soul we knew one unto whom our whole life drew for vigor and uplift why then we too may be immortal men and if at last absorbed in light his form receded from our sight to grow within our souls more fair a spiritual presence there whereby we knew ourselves allied to life upon its unseen side then would a new undying ray illumine every common day earth would repeat our heart's glad song unto our friend we still belong and if the meaning of some word he spoke to us came back and stirred high thoughts we knew not it contained while he in mortal shape remained kindling within us such a fire of aspiration and desire for love and truth and righteousness as breath would fail us to express surer than aught our eyes could see the blessed certainty would be knitting more closely heart to heart death has in him we loved no part no other voice could stir us thus he lives and still he speaks to us one such there has been peter john his lowly friends both gazed upon the radiance of his face arisen forever from the grave's cold prison they talked with him the very same who died upon that cross of shame beneath which now we rest the tree of life and immortality they knew their master when he passed out of their mortal sight at last his star that paled reborn a sun was morning in them heaven begun they bore the message of his life into the world's unrest and strife and now humanity's calm sea mirrors his image it is he in whom we live no more to die soul unto soul makes glad reply and never now shall death divide friends from the friends in him allied love has immortal words to read to love the lord is risen indeed end of poem this recording is in the public domain because i live ye shall live also by lucy larkham read for librivox dot org by larry wilson say not of thy friend departed he is dead he is but grown larger souled and deeper hearted blossoming into skies unknown all the air of earth is sweeter for his being's full release and thine own life is completer for his conquest and his peace roll the stone from sorrow's prison white-robed angel holy faith till with christ we have arisen and believe the word he saith heaven is life to life brought nearer love withdrawn more love to give hearts to heart in me are dearer lo i live and ye shall live end of poem this recording is in the public domain. The Lamb That Was Slain by Lucy Larkham Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson I had a haunting thought at Easter tide, Musing between the twilight and the dawn, Of our dear Lord and friend who, having died, Came to his chosen where they were withdrawn came while they talked of his mysterious death and doubted if he had arisen indeed breathed on them with his loving living breath their master from the grave's enthrallment freed reach hither thomas see and touch my wounds behold believe it is i he said down unto us the wondrous word resounds the death marks on him yet he was not dead they were the sure proofs that he was alive the doubter's finger traced his dreadful scars bears he not still those fatal tokens five within the unseen heavens beyond the stars the heart the hands the feet have bled for us more than our common curse of death he knew into his spotless nature glorious the eternal sorrow of our sins he drew this is the wonder john in patmos saw 
the vision of a lamb that had been slain sacred to us forever is god's law writ in the awful print marks of his pain still is he touched with our infirmity yearning to win us from our shame and wrong still must his wounds throb when we go astray from his dear father's house where we belong the memory of the path for us he trod no splendor of the heaven of heavens can dim by his deep human love the son of god must always draw our human hearts to him end of poem this recording is in the public domain closer to christ by lucy larkham read for librivox dot org by larry wilson draw thou my soul o christ closer to thine breathe into every wish thy will divine raised my low self above won by thy deathless love ever o christ through mine let thy life shine lead forth my soul o christ one with thine own joyful to follow thee through paths unknown in thee my strength renew give me thy work to do through me thy truth be shown thy love made known not for myself alone may my prayer be lift thou thy world o christ closer to thee cleanse it from guilt and wrong teach it salvation's song make it alive in thee perfect in thee nearer to thee o christ nearer to thee till we in thy dear face god's glory see heavenward our hopes ascend saviour and lord and friend o draw us all to thee nearer to thee end of poem this recording is in the public domain a glimpse of his face by lucy larkham read for librivox dot org by larry wilson i have seen what it may be to live o god can it be that thou in thy fullness wilt give thyself unto me even here in my every day round thy face may i meet may the sod i am treading be found a path for thy feet if this be not so then in vain am i living at all but thy beckoning summons is plain thy awakening call soul rouse thee and lift up thine eyes for the sun is arisen yet the seed in the frozen earth lies like a spirit in prison god sends thee to visit through shade hidden germs of his love to shine with his warmth wast thou made as he shineth above yea thou if escaped from earth's night art alive from thy root with his freshness a plant of his light a stem for his fruit o oh, great humbling vision to see in our weakness his power a gleam of his radiance to be his planting his flower to grow with these fair growths of his the cultured the wild to breathe out the breath of his bliss from his bosom his child o oh, vision of god stir within unto heavenly birth shine christ through the midnight of sin on our souls and the earth end of poem this recording is in the public domain pentecost by lucy larkin read for librivox dot org by larry wilson waiting all with one accord for the promise of the lord suddenly among them came rushing wind and cloven flame not for them that gift alone miracle of tongues unknown alien regions they must seek there in heaven's lost language speak not for them alone that glow in lie kindled they must go unto nations sunken night with the risen saviour's light his the fire and his the word that within them burned and stirred east and west and south and north they must show his glory forth grateful earth has never lost radiance of her pentecost traced in spiritual flame reads she now her saviour's name yet hath many a desert dark never felt the awakening spark 
friend inspirer may not we thither thy light bearers be gather us with one accord closer to each other lord in thy presence then anew send us forth thy work to do thou alone hast light to give in thy light alone we live shine through all our lives till we make earth's darkness bright with thee end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Blessed Company by Lucy Larkham Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk God never meant us to be separated from one another In our work and thought Spirits that share His Spirit He has mated That so His loving purpose may be wrought His gracious will be done In earth and heaven as one o oh, blessed company of all the true his holy church may i belong to you ye are his people but around you slumber the hosts of god your summons must arouse to join the multitude no man can number even in their dreams they whisper now the vows their happy lips will take when they to him awake ye through whom every day his breath anew creates his worlds i would belong to you thou father hast made every man a brother to every other man and in thy son renewest the bond if we despise each other we scorn thee in whose eyes all souls are one ye heirs disguised look up drink from the royal cup your grimy robes his form is outlined through it is his flesh and blood i share with you his church it is the home of every spirit that looked and longed for him before he came that hears god's voice now or shall ever hear it through the dire discord of earth's outcast shame he knoweth who are his his seal upon them is o scattered wandering flock o loyal few one shepherd claims us i belong to you in his clear sight what can it matter whether we wear this badge or that or none at all if we but cleave to him and fight together against his foes wherever he may call if he this weak heart win from shameful truce with sin if he will make me brave and keep me true then o ye faithful i am one of you what can the servant do without his master and what without the bridegroom were the bride behold he cometh onward comrades faster out of the wilderness unto his side ah bride the desert glows around thee like the rose thy welcoming glance his smile is shining through oh take me in to live my life with you end of poem this recording is in the public domain His Church by Lucy Lorcom, read for LibriVox.org by Phil Chenevere, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Witness to his eternal pity for the world's wanderers, it stands, the house of God, the holy city, builded of light, not made with hands. Without are loneliness and danger, 
Within are warmth and food and songs. Here is no alien and no stranger. Here every soul of man belongs. No saved child calls to his lost brother, See, I am holier than thou. In Christ they recognize each other. His name is written on every brow. And in his name all outcasts enter and claim their birthright through his love. His church is the great human center toward which earth's generations move. They come to share his consecration, to drink his cup of sacrifice, to be fresh wells of his salvation that in life's desert shall arise. One home, the hearthstone of the Father, one table spread by his dear Son, one spirit drawing us together, God's family in him made one. Christ tells the world her own true story, her filling cup fills to its brim with love and blessedness and glory. We find each other finding him. His church is heaven and earth in union, the lift of wings, the clasp of hands. God offering man divine communion, the door forever open stands. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. In Remembrance of Me by Lucy Larkham Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk Who could refuse the last wish of a friend, Loving unto the end? Fain would his love transfuse itself Into the lives he left behind, That in their souls him they might always find. Remember me, it was Christ's last request Unto his own addressed, And all souls claimeth he. Only by him our human hearts are fed With spiritual wine and living bread. By one so dear invited, Who would stay in loneliness away? O oh, friends, let us draw near, for in us now his image grows too dim. Let us forget ourselves, remembering him. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Hymns of a Day by Lucy Larkham Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk Dawn O God, thy world is sweet with prayer The breath of Christ is in the air We rise on thy free spirit's wings And every thought within us sings Thou art our morning and our sun our work is glad in thee begun our foot-worn path is fresh with dew for thou createst all things new o god within us and above close to us in the christ we love through him our only guide and way may heavenly life be ours to-day like this clear sunshine, let thy love shine down on me today. Shelter my soul, thou brooding dove, like these warm skies, I pray. There is no brightness on the earth, no glory in the sky, no peace in rest, no joy in mirth, except when thou art nigh. Then, Lord, all day be near my soul, And look me through and through, Till every wish owns thy control, And every thought is true. Thou art in all that thou hast made, O oh, let me see thee there. Dear Lord, be thou my sun, my shade, 
my Saviour everywhere. Noontide, when the weary noonday heat scorches hillside, lane, and street, may my life a breeze and shade for thy wayfarers be made. Of thy river, full and free, send a cooling draught by me, that thy thirsty ones may bless thine abounding tenderness. Let me bear thy love's perfume into haunts of guilt and gloom, winning so the sin-sick one forth to thee, the light, the sun. Let thy joy and beauty grow in my path for them that so we may see that thou hast given earth to be our road to heaven let me wash thy wanderers feet take them in and bid them eat while they share my daily bread may our souls by thee be fed make my heart a home and rest for thine outcast and oppressed let us find of thy sweet grace in thyself our dwelling place shut for one calm hour away from the clamour of the day all our work will happier be for this noontide rest with thee nightfall softly has the night descended now in darkness day is ended starry watchers without number guard the wide world wrapped in slumber sleep o weary ones and lowly jesus send you visions holy out of unveiled heavenly places luminous with angel faces jesus slept within death's portal opened it to life immortal lighted up our human story with the promise of his glory pilgrim sleep forget thy sorrow sleep in sure hope of to-morrow rise then to divine endeavor rise to share his life forever End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Word by Lucy Larkham. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. How satisfying is a perfect word! How great to know the truth and utter it, so that it shall eternally be heard! and worlds together in its cords be knit who speaks for beauty beauty's self must be and not her language with vain lips repeat mere tinkling symbols hollow melody wearying the air with mockery most unsweet out of this half articulate earthly speech this broken jargon from each other caught this jangled medley of our songs we reach toward some divine expression of our thought somewhere above the selfish jar and fret the deathly silence deathlier noise of sin mercy and truth and righteousness have met and souls to that vast concord enter in they know the life itself the visible word the music of eternal overflow from central ocean streams of being stirred with the first rapture of creation's glow but men with falsehood blur what god speaks plain his message hourly mistranslated is dear angels heal us of our discord's pain send us the keynote of your harmonies sweeter than any sound by angels heard whispered 
or sung among their deathless followers christ is the beautiful eternal word breathed from god's heart into this world of ours that word jehovah spake that men might see the meaning of their being hid in him each human birth a possibility that well might wake the silent seraphim yet loftiest seraph lyres can but rehearse suggestions faint of his unfolding plan whose perfect word unto his universe is and forever must be god in man end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Heavenward Call by Lucy Larkham Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson What shall I do, my Lord, my God, To make my life worth more to Thee? Within my heart, through earth abroad, Deep voices stir and summon me. Through strange confusions of the time I hear Thy beckoning call resound. There is a pathway more sublime Than yet my laggard feet have found. My coward heart, my flagging feet, They hold me in bewildering gloom. Come thou my stumbling steps to meet, And lift me unto larger room. The dearest voice may lead astray. Speak thou, thy word my guide shall be. O oh, not from life and men away, But through them, with them, up to thee. It is not much these hands can do, Keep thou my spirit close to thine, Till every thought thy love throbs through, And all my words breathe the truth divine. With souls that seek thy pure abode, Let my unfaltering soul aspire, Make me a radiance on the road, A bearer of thy sacred fire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. With You Alway by Lucy Larkham Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk Wandering in wildernesses lonely By wide blank waters of despair Or locked in on your dark heart only Look for his presence, he is there His smile is hid, serene and tender behind the stifling mists of doubt your dullness cannot dim his splendor nor can your blindness shut him out gathering with multitudes around him their master though they know him not find him where men have always found him within their wisest simplest thought clothed humbly with familiar graces beside you in your path he moves his face looks forth from human faces his love is breathed through human loves with you and waiting recognition in suffering brethren dumb with needs with you the source of pure ambition the spring and flow of generous deeds with you to lift your weak endeavor unto his service large and free with you and you with him forever for where he is his friends shall be end of poem this recording is in the public domain end of easter gleams by Lucy Larkham.